Hi. If you're like me, you'll have noticed that there's more than a little similarity between Daniel Craig and Steve McQueen. But facial similarities aside, you can't help to have also noticed that Craig's Bond sported a number of outfits that could have easily have been lifted straight from McQueen's own wardrobe. This was no coincidence, as the designer, Lindy Hemming, was a big fan of McQueen and chose his masculine, timeless style as a basis for her own Bond vision. This can be best viewed in the Venice scene from Casino Royale where Craig Bond sits on a yacht contemplating his future. This video we're going to look at how you can steal the look and feel of arguably the two most stylish men in history. Wow. With the first item and in many ways a cornerstone of the capture wardrobe, that of the white tee. Now, this one is by Sunspell, the manufacturer of the classic Riviera Polo. They're not cheap at around £45, but a well-fitting plain white tee from a good manufacturer will serve the purpose here. The second item is again one of the actual brands Cray wore in Casino Royale, the Levi Stay Press. However, no need to get too caught up with the brand because we're going for the look and feel with this, remember. Buying the exact brand and model is a little on the nose anyway. A decent pair of slim fit, flat front khakis will do nicely. Again, buy the best you can afford because these two are a capsule wardrobe essential. And so to the kingpin, the shawl collar cardigan. Now, the original Bond version was by Tom Ford, as we know, and if they're still available, which I doubt they will be, they'll be well north of £1,500, about $1,800, probably out of the reach of most of us. But there are some great alternatives out there for a lot less. Take this one from Drake's at about £395. If you're on a budget though, J. Crew do a great example for around £120. This one is by Kingsman and available from Mr. Porter. A little tip here, all of these brands come out a little on the large side. So drop down a size if you want that really fitted look. And finally, let's talk about accessories. Now, the boots McQueen always wore were the British brand Saunders & Saunders, the model aptly called the Playboy Chucker. The brown suede boots that Craig wore in Casino and Quantum were the church's Jack Ryder 2 boot, although he did wear the Playboy Chucker in the movie Spectre. Now the sunglasses here are those most associated with McQueen, of course, the Persol 714s. There is something of a link between these and Bond as well, of course. Those great sunglasses that Craig wore in Casino Royale were Persols too. They were the 2720S, and yes, I have a pair of those too. And so, to arguably the most important accessory here, that of the watch. Now, before you all start leaving comments saying that the Craig era Bond only wore Omegas, we're concentrating on the similarities between Bond and McQueen here, remember? And in their heyday, they both sported the Rolex Submariner. The model Bond wore was the 6538, whilst McQueen sported a 5512. They both wore Tag Heuer's as well, of course, though this has been mainly forgotten about in Bond memorabilia terms. But for this exercise, a classic diver's watch, preferably from a Swiss manufacturer, is what you really want to complete that iconic look. And there you have it. Two absolute style icons, one iconic look. If you've enjoyed this video, why not leave us a comment? Click subscribe and check out our Instagram page for more good stuff. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon.